cooking a pound and a half of sage sausage. You can use any kind of sausage you want. There's country sausage. There's spicy Italian sausage or just regular sausage. I use the sage sausage that they put out around the holidays. Pound and a half. And that is sauteed in six tablespoons of, yes, that's butter. That's butter down there. <laughs> I'm going to cube this fennel and dice um, these two onions. So I put the fennel in the mini Cuisinart and I, just to help me chop it up. And it comes out into nice little bits. I'm going to do it one or once or twice more. Perfect. Look at that. Add it to the sausage that's sauteing. So I'm doing this to the rest of the fennel. It's perfect. So I'm going to add that. So there we go. We have all the fennel in there. There's just a little bit left. Use it all because it's so yummy. There we go. All right, mix that all up. Season it with a little salt and some ground pepper. Now the sausage is full of flavor anyway, but you know, it just always seems to need a little bit more when you're making a dish like this. So now I'm doing the same thing um, with the onion. So I peeled the onion and cut it into smaller pieces and then I'm going to let the Cuisinart cut it up. Lock it in. Pulsate it. Needs a little more. That looks perfect. Now I'll add that to the sausage and fennel. One large onion. every bit of onion and then stir that in and continue to saute. There might be a little, a couple of bigger chunks of onion, no big deal. It all gets cooked for so long. It's just mouth watering when you eat it. So small chunks, most of it is tiny though. All right, so let that simmer for a little bit.
And this is the sage. I don't have fresh, but I have sage leaves. So put those in. Mix that up. So I'm whipping two eggs in two different bowls, and that's here too, because I'm going to have a lot of stuffing going in here. I'm going to coat the stuffing with the egg. So we have the eggs mixed in with the parsley in each bowl. So now I'm going to add the breadcrumbs. I got two kinds. I got the classic stuffing and the cube stuffing. And I have four bags. Two in each bowl. And then what do I do? Once it's in the bowl, is some good stuff at the bottom of that. Um, you just toss and coat the um, egg and the parsley onto the seasoned cube stuffing. Okay, that just takes a minute. A spoon works really well to dig out the egg and the parsley. You keep mixing this so everything is coated. Okay, this is the second bowl. So I'm starting with the cubes and then I'm going to pour the regular in as soon as this is coated. Okay, I added the second bag, and that was the classic stuffing, and now I'm mixing that into all of this, and it's going to have this yummy goodness all coated on it. The fresh parsley makes such a big difference. I recommend it for these special occasions, 100%. So here we are back to the sausage and all the goodness that we cooked in it before, including the apples. Um, I poured some chicken stock in there to make it a little more liquidy. So it's ready for the bread. This is the stuffing mix that we mixed with egg and parsley. Mix all that goodness in, the sausage. So we don't have to have the burner on. The burner's not on, we're just mixing now. All right, that's nice and moist. And here's the rest of that same bowl. Put it in here. Okay. Coat everything with that, the sausage mixture. All right, I'm sorry I didn't have it um, focused before. Anyway, so here it is. This pot is all mixed. What do you think? It looks delicious and it tastes delicious too.